Hi, I'm Victor Tung, Director in the Capital Markets team for Singapore. I would like to share with you a snapshot of the Singapore residential market for the third quarter of 2023. Prolonged macroeconomic headwinds, global uncertainties and multiple rounds of cooling measures have led to a less optimistic outlook among home buyers. Between 16 August and 14 September, the annual Hungry Ghost Festival which is viewed by many Chinese buyers as an inauspicious time to purchase a home, has also dampened demand. More projects were launched in the first three quarters of this year compared to the same period last year. While home buyers have shown healthy interest for notable projects launched this past quarter, there are indications that they are becoming more selective. Reasons include macroeconomic uncertainties and the anticipated launches of more projects in the pipeline. Overall, sales volume fell quarter on quarter with declines in both new sale and resale volumes. In addition to weaker buying sentiment, buyers and sellers in the resale market also continued to face a divergence in pricing expectation, thereby limiting resale volume. Investors and foreign purchasers face significantly higher additional buyers' stamp duty or ABSD rates under the latest cooling measures in April 2023. The core central region, which experienced greater exposure to foreign purchaser and property investor, is subjected to greater challenges amid prohibitive ABSD hikes. As a result, buyer demand and prices in the core central region fell quarter on quarter in the third quarter of this year. Meanwhile, Prices of homes in the other market segment, namely the rest of the central region and outside central region, continue to register healthy growth as a genuine housing needs from local resident home buyers continue to support demand. Higher price levels were also set by project launches in this region in the third quarter as developers have previously committed to steeper land and related development costs. Developers are more cautious amid heightened policy and development risks that may impact the overall feasibility of new projects. Given a 10-year annual average private new sales of about 9,700 units, the current unsold stock of about 17,200 units excluding executive condominium would spur developers to remain on the lookout for sites to replenish their land bank. We expect lot sizes of less than 500 buildable units to be more favourable to developers as they reduce the risk of completing and selling all units within 5 years, which would qualify them for a 35% ABSD remission. The persistent mismatch in pricing expectations between developers and sellers remains a barrier to the successful deal conclusions. Despite the current challenges faced by developers in the residential collective sales market, we see opportunities to redevelop commercial zone spaces into mixed-use development with residential components. Such opportunities provide developers the chance to participate in both the commercial and residential sectors while benefiting from tax savings as they will not be subject to ABSD in commercial site acquisition. For the rest of the year, we foresee residential buyers, especially owner-occupiers, to support demand for private homes while investors and foreign purchasers remain on the sidelines. We expect home buyers to stay price sensitive amid prolonged market challenges, though popular upcoming projects that are reasonably priced could continue to draw interest. The high land costs previously committed by developers for upcoming projects, combined with the current low inventory of unsold homes, should keep price levels relatively stable in the next six months, barring any further weakening of the economy. Thank you for watching this quarter's Residential Real Talk. We will see you next quarter.